right, y'all. I have another one I'm going to show you. First of all, let me get this out of the way. Some of you have been asking about these rounds here. Those are 50 caliber armor piercing tracers. Every fourth round is a tracer. And that's denoted by the red. It has a red tip. The armor piercing doesn't show up. It's worn off. But it was uh, silver. Some of them, parts of them were silver. They got a little silver band around them. But this is from the Mod Deuce, the M2, 50 caliber. They're live rounds. Wished I had the gun to shoot it, shoot them. We had one of these mounted on the tank, just in front of the uh, tank commander's cupola. If you ever get the opportunity to uh, fire one of these, you really should. Uh, they are a P bringer. Anyhow, this is the pistol I bought after I wrestled with that Ruger. This is the Browning Buckmark Stainless, standard stainless URX. I believe the URX. Uh, denotes the uh, it's a trademark on the grips it comes with the uh, round that's been fired NRA information the owner's manual comes with one magazine and it is that button type the ultimate uh, loader works well with this. And my dog wants out. Sorry about that, but that's my best friend. He gets what he wants. It has a five and a half inch barrel. This particular model is slab sided. Overall length is nine and a half inches. And it weighs in at uh, 34 ounces. The receiver portion of it is a um, matte alloy with the stainless steel barrel. And the stainless steel barrel is in a matte finish. It's, um, let's safety check it. Nothing in it. Yeah, me and these lights. There's nothing in there. It's blowback single action trigger this is the safety uh, that safety should be tilted the other way in my opinion but slide release magazine release has a gold trigger on it with serrations and the serrations are only on the sides the middle of the trigger is smooth. The barrel is not crowned. It's just flat. Very accurate. Serrations on the 
rear cocking serrations. If you remember the uh, the Ruger has a set of ears that come out on the side off the bolt. This has target sights adjustable for windage and elevation. It has a blade on the front comes off the same way as the um, Ruger. Put a hex wrench in there and it comes right off. Now I did make a change on this because I couldn't uh, see that front sight and it's my eyes it's not the pistol's fault. So what I did see if I can show you <clears throat> You see that pink dot? I took one of the fiber optics from the um, Ruger and I took a slice of it. They give you extra ones, so I just sliced off a little wafer and I JB welded it right there on the front blade. and after it dried I took a sharpie because a little bit of the uh, JB Wells squeezed out and it was it's gray and I took a sharpie and went around it and uh, made it black but it shows up a lot better if I could hang it, stand still you'd see it but uh, it shows up a lot better and it looks like it's on there to stay. I chose this weapon because I had watched some videos and the ease of the takedown is just great. There is a hex screw here and here and they, they supply it it comes with the gun. You take this off, you take this out. This one is longer than this one. They're two different sizes. But you take this off. When you take this side off, underneath is a recoil spring and a buffer. And it just pops right out. When you take the barrel off, on the front, there is another hex, and you take it, oh that dog, <laughs> y'all excuse me a minute, come on, that's a good boy. He's very demanding. But you take this out and the barrel comes off. You don't have to put the clip in, cock it, snap it, take the clip out, uh, you know. Bit of a hassle on the other weapon. This, These have the contoured grips with the fingers, finger grooves, extremely accurate weapon, extremely accurate. I, I really like this one. The safety, the slide lock, You can buy them with the fiber optics up here, but everything costs more. The MSRP on this was four eighty. I, I paid three something for it. But just a nice little weapon to plink around with. It says Browning Arms Company, Morgan, Utah. 
They also have a place in Montreal, Canada, I guess. On the other side, it says 22 long rifle buck mark made in USA. Very nice weapon, a lot of fun to shoot. And it's easy to clean. <laughs> that was the main thing. The ease with which it cleans. Now they tell you in the instructions not to go past where they tell you to take it apart. But there are no instructions for taking it apart in the manual. They give you the tool It's right there, but no place does it tell you how to take it apart. Go figure. You can get them as fancy as you want. Coca Bola grips and the whole bottle of wax. But uh, I just wanted to share it with you and uh, let you see what it looks like. It, it's a fine weapon. Uh, they both are. But this one's just a little bit easier to take apart. I appreciate y'all watching.